Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and the first one of these kind of videos I've done. With Escape from Tarkov, we all know the game is still in beta, and it's unfinished. Well, this can be really frustrating and in some ways make the game worse. I think it provides an awesome opportunity for the community to improve the game through their own ideas and experiences. One of these ideas that I've mulled over for a while deals with the Grizzly First Aid Kit. Once BSG introduced the post-rate healing system, these basically became useless in my opinion. Honestly, that's all I used them for was healing after the raid or after I died. It removed all the negative effects and with two clicks healed everything on the body. I don't want this to be a negative video. So let's start off with some of the good things going for the old Grizz first aid kit. If you're like me, you use some sort of heal, an IFAC, a Salewa, whatever, and then some sort of bandage for blood loss and then a splint for breaks, whether that's the ALU splint or the regular splint. If you don't run all this, that's fine. A lot of people don't see value in having a bandage with Salewa at the same time. That's just me. But regardless, the Grizzly fills all of these needs in one kit. If you're using a Salewa, an army bandage, and an ALU splint, or any other splint, then technically this takes up four spaces too. And that's what a Grizzly has. The Grizzly also heals faster per second than any other heal in the game. It also can treat contusions, which none of the other heals can do. Though that is a very, very rare instance of being useful. With all that being said, the bad stuff still seems to outweigh the good stuff. And that is what I think keeps people from using this. The biggest of all is the size. At 2x2, two two, there's only 9 rigs, 5 unarmored and 4 armored, that can hold this so you can hotkey it. And it also weighs more than any other of the meds, even when you combine them all. Personally, I only see these occasionally on players that I kill, and I never use them myself in raid. They just don't have enough positives to overtake the Salewa's bandages and splints. Cost doesn't really play a role for me because they're cheap on the flea market right now. And honestly, a Grizz would probably be cheaper for me to run than what I normally do with meds. You can get them for 15 to 7k most days. So that leaves utility as the only thing I can figure why this doesn't get used by the community. So, how do we make the Grizzly great again? Or at least useful? Adding features to the Grizzly is one of the ways to give it more utility in the game as it currently sits. Talking this over with a few friends and just with my own experience, I have a few ideas to present to you here. The top one among most people that I talk to is giving the Grizzly the ability to heal multiple body sections with a single use. So for example, let's say you have two black legs and an arm. You use a Serve 12 or a CMS to fix them and you're sitting at 1 HP on all of those. On top of that, you're at half health on the rest of your body parts, your chest, your stomach, your head, and your other arm. When you hit use on the Grizzly or your hotkey, it begins to heal. But instead of just stopping on that one limb, that animation continues and continues and continues. And you heal each limb individually until everything is healed. You either cancel the heal or the Grizzly runs out of HP. Now some balancing would probably require with this, you know, slower HP a second heals, a max limiter per heal, like 200 or something, lower HP on the Grizzly itself or some kind of side effect. But that's a few steps down the development path in my opinion. Another idea is to add a CMS or Serve 12 type ability to it. You know, and maybe instead of being as good as a CMS or Serve 12, maybe it only heals 25% of the limb, or it can only treat legs or some other limiting factor that keeps it from being as good as a CMS, but still gives it that ability to fix black limbs. This would just add a bunch of utility to this kit and might actually make it useful for people. You could also add a pain pill effect, a regen effect, or some other effect from the other stims in the game to give this a little bit more use. Again, I don't know which of these are better or any of them at all. Something needs to change though for the Grizzly to have any functionality in the game. Maybe with future plans to the game, they will make more sense. It does have the removal toxicity and radiation attributes, though those aren't in the game yet. And with dev discussions talking about severe bleeds and tourniquets and other types of damage, it may gain some steam in the future. But for now, it's not very useful for most people. I think the Grizzly has a lot of potential and could be a super cool med to use. But right now, it's just a trinket and a loot item most people usually ignore when they find it in Raid. Alright, well that wraps up the video. I just wanted to get some thoughts out there and see what you guys all thought. See if you guys like these kind of videos. If you have anything to add, do so in the comments. You never know, BSG might stumble across this and we might give them some good ideas to make the game better. If you like the video, please hit like. And if you're up for more of my future content, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in Tarkov.